Welcome back. Today on Dialed in DIY, we have an overview video on how to use LEDs. This is all the basic information you'll need to get you started on some fun electronics projects. This level one, as well as the level two video that'll be coming soon, will get you prepared for the future videos that I've got coming on some projects that I did with LEDs. LEDs are actually pretty easy to work with, you just need to know a few things first. Like number one, LEDs are actually sensitive to polarity. That just means you have to hook up the positive side to the positive lead on your power source. It's usually pretty easy to tell which side is positive when you're looking at an LED because the lead is longer. If not, you can always look to the negative side where it has a flat edge right at the base. The main plastic looking part of the body is actually an epoxy resin that's used for the casing. The great thing about this is it holds everything in place. It also really helps to protect it against impact, but the very tip of it helps to focus the light and maximize the light coming out of it, and that's important. You can further protect the LED when you're working with it by not bending or soldering within three millimeters of the base of that unit itself. Personally, I think the most important thing to know about LEDs is that they are sensitive to voltage. That just means you need to know what the rating is for the particular device that you're working with and try not to exceed that. In fact, I always try to run a little bit underneath it. If you don't have enough though, you're not gonna light up the LED and if you have too much, you're gonna blow it out. If you purchased your LEDs, check the packaging. It should have information for current and voltage and that'll be a very helpful place to start. Now it's time for a little demonstration. In this particular example, we've got an LED that's rated to go from 3 to 3.4 volts. That's a very helpful approach because I have three different ways to use batteries that will get us a 3 volt lead. For fun projects where I'm not too concerned about the long-term viability of the LED, I will run it straight off the batteries. In this case, I've got two button cells that are about 1.5 volts each and added together, that's three. I've got a bigger button cell that's three and then the two AAA batteries add up to three volts as well. We directly hook them right up to the wires and look at that, lights up like a charm. For all other projects, such as anytime I'm using a power source that's not a battery, I do use resistors, and that's going to actually be part of our level 2 video series. Come back again and see what that looks like. You'll note with the two small button cells I did a double take to make sure I knew which side was positive before I stuck the LED in there to light it up. I do have a lot of fun using LEDs in projects, and you can actually experiment because there's a lot of different colors you can try out as well. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.